हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग एक्शन चैट असेसमेंट टुडे सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी हेल्पफुल बिकॉज़ आफ्टर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व एक्शन चैट सीडो कोड प्रॉब्लम इन जस्ट 10 टू 15 सेकंड सो लेट्स सी बट बिफोर यू प्रोसीड आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू हैव द प्राइम मटेरियल्स ऑफ एक्शन चैट इन व्हिच आई हैव इंक्लूडेड ऑल द रीसेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑल द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स विद ऑल कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस मॉक टेस्ट सो टू गेट दैट नॉक मी एट माय स्टडी instagram.com/techno.tf यू विल गेट इट एंड बी माइंडफुल दिस इज पेड ओके सो लेट्स सी So let's start with the logical or operation. Logical or compares two conditions and returns true if at least one of the condition is true, right? So for example, let's say true or false, right? So this will return true because at least one statement is true, right? So in the in the example exam actually you will be given like this. So if five greater than three or four greater than two, then return or print something, right? So this will return. true right actually 5 greater than 3 and 4 greater than 2 both both are true so this will return true right if one of the condition is false then also it will give true statement right so this will print so i hope you got it about the logical or operation right so let's talk about the logical and operation in similar way logical and compares two conditions and returns true only if both condition are true right for example if uh, true and and true then only it will return true if one of the statement is false then it will give a false statement all total right so in ex in exam you will have like this so if 5 greater than 3 and and 4 greater than 5 so this will return actually false right because because this statement is true but this statement is false so this will all total uh, return false right so you have to check both condition in case of and operation but in case of logical or operation you, you if you encounter only one statement is true then you have not to check the other part or other statement if it is true or not right because if only you, one statement is true then we don't have to check the other part we will return true right so i hope you got it let's talk about the most important operation in pseudo code that is bitwise or operation right bitwise or compares each bit of two binary numbers and returns one if at least one of the corresponding bits is one so for example 5 or 3 so binary representation of 5 that is 101 and binary representation of 3 that is 011 so 1 or 1 this will return 1 0 1 this will return 1 1 0 this will return 1 because in case of binary sorry bitwise or operation at least one of the bit should be one to be true right so 1 1 1 so this is binary representation of 7 so the output will be 7 right if you can't remember the binary representation of any number then let me show you at first start with 0 1 10 11 11 right and this will repeat 100101101011 right and then it will again repeat 100 100101 100 1011 right actually this way it will return the binary value right 0 1 10 11 this will repeat right so remember this way so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 right so i hope you got it right okay let's talk about the next important operation on pseudo code that is bitwise and operation right So in case of bitwise and operation it compares each bit of two binary numbers and returns one only if both corresponding bits are one so for example 5 and 3 so here binary representation of 5 that is 101 and 3011 right so 1 and 1 that is 1 100 100 100 right so both statements should be true for the statement to be true right so this is true that's why the output is true right if one of the statement is false then the full output will be zero right so the this is the binary representation of one so output will be one right so i hope you got it this way you have to solve the problem okay let's talk about the next most important uh, operation on pseudo code that is 
bitwise zor operation right exclusive or operation so in case of bitwise zor operation it compares each bit of two binary numbers and returns one if the bits are different that is zero and other is one right so if both state both the bit are one or both the statement both the um, bit are zero then this will return zero right so only in case of different uh, bit it will return one right so let's take an example let's say five zero three right so binary representation of five that is one zero one and binary representation of three that is zero one one so in case of zor operation both statement if different then this will return one right and if both statement or both the bits are same then this will return zero so this is the binary representation of six right so this will be six so i hope you got it right if you face any problem then let me know i will be there with you right so let's talk about the next most important topic that is left shift and right shift but before we proceed to the explanation i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question or accenture assessment based question right so let's talk about the left shift operation right so left shift moves all the bits of a binary number to the left by a specified number of position it effectively multiplies the number by 2 for each shift left right so for example 5 left shifting by 2 bit right so it will result into 20 how i am explaining so what is the binary representation of 5 that is 101 so we are left shifting by 2 right so it will left shift by 2 position so this will result into this right so it, here two blank space will be there so this will be 20 so this is the 20 in decimal value right so that's why the output is 20 so let's take another example uh, let's say uh, 20 sorry 20 left shift by 2 so what is the binary representation of 20 that is 10100 so if we do left shift uh, operation then it will left shift by 2 then this will read and two blank space will be more here so the output will be 10100 and two more zero right so this will be the value of 80 right so what is the shortcut to to solve the problem so for example 20 left shifting by n element right so 20 multiply by 2 to the power n right so if n is equal to 2 then output will be 20 multiply by 2 to the power 4 that is 4 so 20 multiply by 4 is equal to 80 right so for example 5 uh left shifting by 2 so 5 multiply by 2 to the power 2 that is 4 that is 20 right so i hope you got it right so let's talk about the right shifting element so in right shifting right shift moves all the bits of a binary number to the right by a specific specified number of position it effectively divides the number by 2 for each shift shift writing right so for example 20 greater greater 2 i mean right shifting by 2 2 bits so in this case output will be 5 because the binary representation of 20 that is uh, 10100 and if we do right shifting then this will be right shifted and the output will be 101 right so this way actually the output will be 5 so in the case of first uh, first condition that we took so for another example let's say 5 greater greater 2 i mean right shifting by 2 so binary representation of 5 that is 101 if we right shift by 2 then this will be right shifted and the output will be 1 i mean the value of 1 is also but the binary number is 1 so how to solve them quickly so for any number let's say 20 right shifting by n element so output will be right uh, 20 by 2 to the power n right so if let's say n is equal to 2 then output should be what 20 by 2 to the power 4 that is 4 so 20 by 4 is equal to 5 and for another example we took that is 5 right shifting by 2 so this way also 5 by 2 to the power 2 so 4 so 4 is equal to 1 right so this way we will solve the problem very fast right 
so i hope you got it right and one important thing at the last i have to tell you that is whenever you will see a big pseudo code problem then don't skip it there are 90% possibilities that uh, there are some if conditions will be there so if conditions are not going to be true right so you will have to just directly print the value so don't skip the big pseudo code actually they will take lesser time than the smaller uh, pseudo code right so I hope you will give importance whatever I have told in this session. So if you love this session then please subscribe this channel and if you want more content then please suggest me in the comment section. Okay thank you for today's session.